Ready to work out? Oh, booyah! Booyah! All right, we're gonna do a band workout. Really, all you need, we're gonna, we're gonna take a little couple seconds to get set up so we give some people some time to join in there. They wanna follow and follow us with the workout. Believe me, this is your band workout. You know this workout, so you should have this down. You should be following along. This is a workout that I've already written up for you guys in the Game Changer program. So I'm gonna do that exact workout. Of course, you know I gotta, you'll never see me without this big ass jug, of my Herbalife secret sauce. Anyway, we'll put that down. So really with all you need, I'm trying to do this workout mic'd up, so we'll see how it works. You should be able to hear me no matter where I go. All you really need is one single band like this size. Rose is joining, of course Rose is joining us. One band like this size. Since I have a few of them, I'm gonna set up a few different ones. You're not gonna use the band probably. You're gonna do just the body weight stuff because it's too big for you. So we're gonna set up a few different ways, like, because we're gonna have some stuff around your waist at times, but if you need to, take the camera and just show you, if you needed to, you would just take a band, loop it around. This, your one single band, if you had to, just if you only had one, loop it around the doorknob like that. And you would just use that. Because we're going to put it around our waist here. If you can even see it. And be moving in and out, doing some stuff inside the band. So you can find a spot just to loop it around the doorknob if you have to. I'm going to set up a few. Since I have a few, if you have a few of them, then obviously set some up on the doorknob or wherever you're going to anchor it to, an anchor point. If you have a full set, you could take some of the thicker ones even, like these. We're going to tie them together and then put it to the doorknob just so it's a little longer. So I'll stretch out and have more space and can reach you guys to see on the camera. So you're going to tie a little freaking Girl Scout knot in there so it's locked in. And then I'm going to go over here and just anchor it to a different doorknob on the other side. So then it's going to stretch out to here. So you can actually see the exercise I'll be doing inside. I'll, my body's gonna be inside the band here. So we're basically gonna be rotating between a few different positions with the band. And we're gonna go through those in a warm up, and then we're gonna stay with that rotation. Basically a squat position, deadlift position, push up position, and then we call it the pole position. Get this tied to a pole or a post or whatever. What are you doing, boy? You ready? So first we're just gonna loosen up quick. So if you have a set of bands, you have your light, your medium, or light, or a light and a medium separate for different exercises. Good job. Like so, a couple different ones that are loose and then your thicker ones anchored on the pole. So I'm just gonna, we're gonna do a quick little warm up here. We're gonna get our legs warmed up start. Just gonna start with our quad stretches, alternate quad stretch. Hold it for just one or three seconds. Yes, I'm in all camouflage. Yes, it's like a camouflage freaking rainbow. There's blue, there's black, there's green, and there's white. You never know what type of environment we need, the invasion's gonna happen in. So we have to be ready for everything. So we're gonna go quad stretch, quad stretch, knee hug, Knee hug, you're gonna rotate between those four, one to three seconds each. So we're gonna go quad, leg you're standing on, make sure that knee stays slightly bent. Quad, knee hug, knee hug, one more time, call it. Quad. Speak up, boy. Quad, knee hug, knee hug. Louder so you can hear the microphone. Look, the microphone's way over here, so you need to speak loud. He's gonna be counting for us in like seven different languages for these workouts. So each one of these sets, is only four groups. So four sets per round technically. We're gonna run like straight through it just to show you all the, the whole entire workout. You could break it up into groups of four of those four different positions we said. You could do 30 seconds of each, make it a two minute round. You could do 45 seconds each, a minute of each, or you could just, you don't wanna time it, you could just go for reps. We're gonna do about whatever, 12, 15, 20 reps today of each thing straight through and then go right to the next group of four and just keep rotating through the group of four. That's a big ugly thumb. <laughs> So we're gonna keep getting warmed up. Let's get our shoulders loosened up. Big, forward, wide shoulder circles. Loose, loose, keeping your feet moving backwards. Come backwards at your shoulders. Cause you're gonna be in the squat position, you're gonna be in the deadlift position, in the push up position, and the pole position. Now get a quick stretch of your shoulder. Fling it open, stretch the other side. One more time each side, stretch it. Grab it right above your elbow, stretch it out. Don't choke yourself with your freaking arm. Don't choke yourself with your arm. All right, so we're gonna get set up in the band positions. We're gonna start again in that order. The whole entire workout is rotating through the bands in those four positions. So we're gonna start in squat position, squat position. We're gonna start off slow here, just so you can see the different four different positions. Then we're gonna keep getting into different exercises in each one of those positions. So squat position, your feet are inside the band here. 
You have an overhand grip with your hands. We're gonna go slow on this first round. This is like our warm-up round to teach you the four positions, and then we're gonna go from there. Get your elbows inside, so I had that overhand grip here, and then inside here. Use that one, use that one, it won't be as thick. So we're here. So your palms are forward, elbows are in tight, inside the band, and we're just gonna hit a front squat here. Count, count in Spanish, Tice, come on. Come on, squats, okay. feet apart. Let's go, feet apart. Sit down on your heels, breathe it out, push it up. Head is up, chest is out, why are you not squatting? Breathe it out, in through the nose down, out through the mouth up, why are you not counting? You forgot how to speak in Spanish? No. Count in Spanish? Well, we're gonna do these until he remembers how to count to 10 in Spanish. You just told me two seconds ago. We're doing these till he could remember how to count to 10 in Spanish. Boy, let's go, we're waiting for you. All these people are waiting for you. Their legs are gonna fall off waiting for you. So our head is up, chest out. This is a squat position, we're just doing squats. Remember these positions, this is squat position. Count to 10, boy. Okay, I'm trying to think. Let's go. Keep squatting, keep squatting. Are you kidding? We're gonna do these till he remembers. I don't care if we'd have to do these for an hour straight. Uno. Uno. Dos, Louder. Tres. No, count for each rep, each uh -huh. squat. One. Uno. Louder. Dos. There we go. Tres. Louder. Uh -huh. Let's go. Cuatro. Why are you whispering? Louder. Cuatro, cinco, tres, Stop whispering. Tres. Let's go. We're still squatting. Whisper this to me like that again. You're going to do a hundred of them. You're going to do a hundred of them. Do you hear me? Mm -hmm. yep. Uh-huh. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. What? Yes, sir. Are you going to whisper? No. All right. So that's the squat position. We're purposely going slow here to get you warmed up and let you learn these positions. Deadlift position. You're going to hold this straight across. The band's just like this. Like you're holding two handles. You're going to put it on the floor and step on both pieces with both feet. All we're gonna do is a deadlift, or sorry, deadlift walk. So you're gonna stand straight up here with your feet apart, look at my feet. And we're just gonna walk side to side, just getting the hips and glutes loosened up, squeezing the outer glute. Don't let it snap your feet together. It's gonna to wanna to snap your feet together, don't let it. We're just getting things warmed up and learning our positions here. Side to side, squeezing the outer hip and glute. Nice strong grip, you're staying up tall, bracing your abs. This is a deadlift position, we'll be doing different things in this position, so that was just a deadlift walk. So next, you're going to the push-up position. Push-up position, you're gonna hook it with your thumbs under, behind your back, under your armpit, so it's not gonna snap you in the neck. All we're doing is a high plank position, the push-up position, just holding it. So just hold the position, just because we're learning the position right here. Why are you not in the position? Why are you not in the position? Why are you not in the position? We're just gonna hold position, hands are lined up directly under your shoulders so that band is pushing down on your back. Your back is totally straight. Your ear is lined up with your shoulder, lined up with your hip, lined up with your knee, lined up with your ankle. The top of your head, the bottom of your feet is one straight line. We're just holding this nice strong core because we're gonna be doing tons of exercise in this position so we're just getting used to it. Done. So now we're gonna go to the pole position, the one that we had it wrapped around our waist. Right here. So each time of the pole position, a lot of times you're gonna get inside the band. We're actually gonna step inside the band like this. Around your waist, all we're doing is forward run. So you're just gonna run forward, run back till the tension just starts. Don't let it go loose and floppy behind you. So this is the, the pole position. We're just running forward. I'll be out of the screen and then resist back. Run forward and resist back. Run it forward, resist back. We're gonna. Do it for 15 times forward, something like that. We're not going for time here on the clock. Move some junk out of your way. Run forward and back. Some dumbbells in the way we're gonna move. So fast, fast, fast. Stomp it, piss off your neighbors. I'm riding past the screen, but you should be running forward and resist back. This is our warm up round for you to learn all the movements. Just get your blood flowing, all the positions. Again, you could do 30 seconds of each minute of each, or just count for reps if you don't want to have to worry about a clock. Boom. So we're done with that one. So we're going to go right back to the squat position pretty much and start picking up the pace as we're going. We're getting warmed up a little bit. 
So we're going to start our usual strip show. Shush boy. Should be starting to get a little loosened up, a little warmed up. So we're going to go right to the next group. It's always going to start squat position, deadlift position, push up position, pole position. Went nice and slow that I teach them to you. We're going to start picking up the pace. I need a band, improvising with weight. Use dumbbells, figure it out. He knows how to count, he was just being a freak. Count to 10 now. Everyone hold the squat position. Hold the squat position. Hold the squat position. Hold a squat position. Count to 10 in Spanish, loud. Eat. No. Spanish, not Japanese. Okay. We're holding this till he counts, this is ridiculous. Oh. He, he, he does this all the time, now he's on camera and he freezes up and crumbles under the pressure. Squat lower, lower. We're doing this till you can count. Get up higher, that's too low. Now you're just sitting on your butt. What's one? You gotta be kidding me. Uno! Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Louder, start over. Louder. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Good. Let's go. Back to the squat position. New round. You better remember that. We're doing it again later. You're going to do jump squats until you remember it. You want to do jump squats until you remember it? No. Exactly. All right, squat position. We're going shoulder press. Now we're going to start picking up the pace. You know the positions. We got warmed up a little bit. Let's go. Back to the squat position. I'm not going to keep remembering, remind you what the squat position is because that's why we took the time so you could learn it. Right here. And you're just doing a shoulder press from the squat position. Straight up. Let's go. We're going to pump it out. Bam. Breathe it out. It's a pretty light band. If you have a light band, you can go kind of fast how I am. I'm using just a medium band here so you can pump it out. If you had a heavier one, you could just go slower, like if you're doing a heavy weight. But if you have a little light weight, you could just get a tempo to it and pump that out. Get that heart rate going a little more. Breathe out. Every time you push up, don't arch your lower back. Your knees are slightly bent. Your abs are strong. Breathe out. Push it up. You said you wanted to use the band. Deal with it, boy. Pump it out, we're breathing, we're pumping it. We're gonna switch right to the deadlift position. So if you have different bands, uh, several of them, and you know one thing's gonna be harder than, or you could use a stronger one, so deadlift position, I'm gonna use a little a thick band, because we're actually going with deadlifts. So get into that deadlift position. Grab the handles, right away. Going right to it. Stand on both pieces, stand up tall. Lean at the waist, drive the hips. Bam, breathe out. In through the nose down. <sighs> Exhale, drive the hips. Working the hamstrings, glutes, lower back. Bam, breathe it out. <sighs> Exhale. That's why we're using a thick band. Deadlift is a pretty strong movement. <sighs> Snap the hips, stand up tall. Drive it. Breathe it out. Head up. Shoulders back, chest out. We're going for reps, we're going for time, we're going for whenever the hell we feel like stopping. Wow, using a thick band back there. <laughs> Let's go three more. Drive, stand up tall. Hips, hamstrings, glutes, lower back. Abs tight, bam. You hope you guys are paying attention. You should know what position is coming next. Thing froze on me. Camera. You guys can still see me and hear me? It went blank. Oh, it's still there. There we go. All right, so now we're in the push-up position. We know it goes down to the armpits, around the thumbs, and we're going to do a push-up walk. Push-up position, push-up walk. Let's go right here, and we're just going side to by side with the band around your back. Abs tight. Make sure we're still hooked up. Go across. Switch. Crush you. I'm going to crush you. Switch. So it's under your armpits so it doesn't wrap around the top of your head. I'm coming to get you. Hips down, back straight. Abs strong. Push up, walk. Back to the pole position. We're going to do a lateral shuffle going side to side. So right away, get inside that band around your pole. Get your feet inside of it. So we're going to go to the side, 
just one direction for now. So I'm just shuffling to the right, go to one direction for a set, and then the other direction. So you're shuffling out right here. And resist back in, out quick, shuffle back in. Out fast, extend it out, good amount of tension. When you come back in, make sure it doesn't go floppy. Don't come so close in that you lose tension on the band. Go fast, walls your feet, lighten your feet. Fast. Breathe it out. Pump, pump, pump. We're rolling. And we're gonna change directions right away. We're doing both of those back to back. So switch directions. We're going to our left now. Keep the tension on the band the whole time. Right away, out to the left. Resist back in, fast, quick, on light on your feet. Cut back to the inside. Don't let your band go loose. Control it. Fast, fast, speed, speed. Low impact is gliding on the floor. Breathe it out. Let's go, three more, three more. Fast, fast, fast. Last one. Good. Come out of your pole position. We're going right back to our push-up position. Or sorry, squat position. We're going squat to a press. Basically, just combining the two that we just did. Squat to press. So squat position. Hands inside. Squat down. Drive it up. Full deep squat. Press it up. In through the nose down. Out through the mouth up. Breathe it out. Elbows in tight. Stand up tall. Brace your abs. So you're sitting back on your hips and your heels. Working your quads, your glutes. Head is up. Chest is out. Breathe it out. Boy, what are you doing? Where's your squat? You want to use the band. Figure it out. Press it up. Look, we're pressing up. Yeah, you do it too late now. You're using it. Breathe out. Extend your arms. Back on the hips and heels. Breathe it out. Make sure you're controlling. Even though it looks like I'm coming down fast, this is with control. In through the nose down. Make sure you're not pushing forward too. Don't let this band fling you forward. We know right after the squat position is right back to the deadlift position. We're going bent over rows. So get into that deadlift position right here. Bent over rows. We're gonna start double arm. Right here, pump, rip it back. Hands to your ribs. All out your ribs. Once we get to the halfway mark, I'm gonna get about 15 double arm rows. Pump, pump. If you're using a light band, you should be going fast. And now we're gonna alternate your arms. Alternate, pump. Let's go, boy. Lean over, what is that? You doing some ditty bopping? Brace your abs. Back is straight. No twisting. This ain't the big butt song playing. You shouldn't be doing your dance moves. Hands to the ribs, control. Your torso should be locked in place. Brace your abs. Back is straight. Dig. Time. Push up position. Back around your back right away. We're going with knee tucks. So you're down in the push up position. Where do you know how to get lined up? And all you do is knee tuck. Squeeze, hold in your abs. That knee tucks into your chest in the air just for a second. Dig it. Dig. Dig. Hips are down. Butt down. Butt out of the air, boy. Get that big butt down. Butt down, head up. Tyson, butt down, head up. Strong. Dig. A few more each side. Four more each side. You're pausing that squeeze with the knee into your chest just for a split second to get that ab crunch. While you're fighting that band that's trying to push you down. Right back to the pole position. Oh, fun one with the pole. Bear crawl. It's around your waist. Around your waist. We're going to bear crawl. So you're on your hands and your feet. We're crawling forward with the band. Far as you can, fast. Resist back slow. I'm trying to do this mic'd up, so I'm all wired up with this mic. So, so I'm kind of having to maneuver around a little bit. So I don't rip this thing out. I'm assuming you guys can hear me pretty good. So then you can hear me chugging and breathing hard. Because this is all this takes is one little band. As long as you're pushing yourself, you're gonna get out of breath. You're gonna get in shape. 
I'm in fairly decent shape. So if I'm out of breath and I'm already sweating, you should be too. Let's go, two more times. And time. Good. We're not calling it a break, but if you need to sip water, you're sip water right now. Just like take these freaking pants off. We know we gotta always have our layers. Whoa, and those shorts aren't tied. Probably should have tied those shorts underneath if I took the pants off before we have a real strip show. Let's tie those off, we won't want that to happen. You don't wanna see some big, fat, hairy ass, right? <laughs> what, are you tired already? No. What? No! Boy, we're gonna start boxing in a second. Oh, yeah, God. you act like that again. So you're shaking it out, stretching it out. Quick sip of water if you need it. If you're not warmed up by now, and your heart rate's not up by now, that means you're holding back, you're doing something wrong. You need to push a little harder. My head, look at my, look at my forehead. If I'm sweating like that, so should you. We're just getting set back up here. Gotta get this microphone set back up. You have about two more seconds. We're going to the next round. Sitting here changing shoes and sweaters and shit like Mr. Freaking Rogers. This is ridiculous. You don't even know who Mr. Rogers is, do you, Tice? Uh, no, you don't. All right, I think we're all set up. So we already know the positions. So you don't even have to go through all these. You could do the one group for four sets, and then come back around, take a break, repeat that same group for four more sets. You don't even have to. I'm really just stalling. I didn't need to get any microphone set up or changed or anything. I'm just stalling because I am winded and out of breath and out of shape, I guess, huh? All right, let's do it. Where'd my band go? Um, take a... We're going split squats. I'm gonna go a little thicker of a band here. Put it around your right, right leg only. So we're going single leg squat position right here, both hands inside again, but only one leg is inside the band, my front leg. Back leg is back, a wide split squat stance. I'm gonna drop my back knee straight towards the floor, right here. If there's just not enough tension with your band, just grab lower down. Look at that, I just created double the amount of tension. It might be floppy in the middle here, but that doesn't matter. It's created more tension here. Because I needed a little more, it wasn't tight enough, especially at the bottom position. So both knees should be coming to 90 degrees. There you go, Tice. Sit, just sit back on your hip and your heel on that right leg. Into the nose down. Breathe out as you're coming up. You could do it reps per side or time per side. Doesn't freaking matter. So, so far, look how much space we use. No space at all, except for like that bear crawl and the shuffling stuff. With a single, with a little rubber band. You could have done all this stuff. You could do all this stuff body weight. You can make this rubber band anywhere you go. You could fit right in your pocket. You, could, you don't even need a, a bag going on an airplane. So, we're switching legs. Why does this keep closing out on me? It makes me look like, it makes it look like the camera's not there. Left foot inside the band. Split squat position. Get down low if you need more tension. Let's do it. Second leg. So go show some of a side view. I'm going straight down. So it's not a lunge. Look at my front leg. My front leg is not pushing forward like that and it's gonna put all the pressure on my knee. I'm sitting back on the hip and heel of this left leg. My right heel is never touching the floor. There you go, boy. Breathe out when you're coming up. Control it. Stay centered, balanced. Oh, hard. Keep going, I don't wanna hear that it's hard. I'll show you hard. Hard is getting captured by the enemy and being trapped by the bad guys, right? Mm -hmm. That's probably hard. And let's go for the left leg. So that was our squat position. We're going deadlift position. We're gonna go deadlift to row. So we're gonna combine the two we did in the earlier sets. Getting our deadlift position, hook it from the ends. Stand on it with both feet. Get your freaking microphone out of the way. So I'm here, deadlift. We're gonna go down for the deadlift. 
one row, stand back up. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Control down, squeeze shoulder blades together, squeeze your lats, strong arms, release down, drive the hips, stand up tall, thrust the hips. One, two, three, stand up tall, drive it. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Let's go, a few more still. Four count exercise. One, two, three, four. Count Japanese boy, loud. Stand up straight, let's go. Bam, one, two, two, three, four. Count Japanese, come on. That's loud? That's loud? What? No. Is that loud? No. Is that loud? Yes. That's how it should be. A little intensity. Let's go. One, two, three, four. One. Rip it back. Bam. Boom. Control that band. It's not flinging on you. Even on the way down here, I'm lowering myself down. I'm ripping this back and I'm lowering my arms down with my strength. My control stand up straight. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's go. Two more. Dig it. Keep it back straight back there, boy. Keep it back straight. Our backs are straight. Toss to the side. Push up position. You should know the positions by now. Shouldn't even have to think about it. We're actually gonna do push ups with the resistance around your back. Get down to the push up position. You don't have to go on your knuckles. I just like them on my knuckles. Let's go. So you're gonna lose a little tension at the bottom. That's fine. Still get full range all the way down to the floor. It's as you push up when we wanna worry about getting the tension. Now start over. Count Japanese. Get your knees off the floor. Let's go. Japanese. Me. Louder. Sun. Chi. Louder. Go. Row. Si. Hot. Louder. <laughs> I can't hear you. Come on. Come on. Q. Q. Let's go. That was push-up position. We're going to pole position. Pole position. Ow! <laughs> well, watch out. Pole position is going to be a high knee lateral shuffle. Get inside your band. Get off the <coughs> go get some water. High knee lateral shuffle. Right here, high knees, cross the floor. Right here, pump, pump, get those legs up. Get those legs up, pump it. Abs are strong, light on your feet. Out to your right, extend that band up. Pump, 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 pump. This is just to the right. And right away, you're gonna spin around and do the high knee lateral shuffle to your left. Right away, right to it. Pump. Ignore my hands, I'm just holding this wire. Make sure I don't bust my ass. Pump it, pump it. Get those thighs parallel to the floor. Stretch that band out as far as you can. A strong distance, strong pace. Make sure the band doesn't go loose on the inside. Pump, pump, pump. On the balls of your feet, bouncing your step. Bam, 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 bam. You should be out of breath right now. You should be sweating. If you're not, you're doing something wrong. And good. That was pole position. We're getting set up right back into the squat position. Where's my band? Right back to the squat position. We're still rolling. Anyone following along with this? Anyone keeping up? So we're on squat jumps. Right away, right to it, come on. So we're gonna get inside here. Squat position, sit down on the heels, jump it up. Microphone got ripped out, of course. So you're right here, squat and jump. Down the heels, explode up. Get some air, stomp on the floor. Piss off your neighbors below you. Fuck them. You need to get in shape. You got summer coming up. You can't worry about those crab ass neighbors of yours. Your head should be hitting the ceiling above you. 
and you should be stomping on the floor. Not stomping, but you know what I mean. Pump it out, three more, come on. One, two, three, nice. We're going right to a hammer curl. In the dead, we're doing a modified deadlift position. You're gonna put both feet inside here. A few different ways you can do it. Just both feet inside the loop. You're gonna grab this from the outside, right here. And we're going just hammer curls. Elbows are stuck to your sides. If it's a pretty light band, get some tempo to it. Keep that heart rate up. It's not exactly a deadlift position. You can even double grip it if you have to. So it doesn't bounce around. Get a little lower. More tension even. Hold those handles. Pump those arms up. You do this the right way, you will get your arms pumped up with these little bands. Five more, come on, one, two, three, four, and five. Bam. All right, to push up position, we're going mountain climbers. This is a little faster paced round for the squat position and push up position with those squat jumps. Now mountain climbers, so I can do the biceps in the middle, a little less intensity, a little less speed. So get set up, push up position, and mountain climbers. One foot's forward, one foot's back, jump and switch. Knees tucking towards your chest. So your weight's evenly distributed on both feet. So you're not just doing this. Oh, you can't even see me. You're not just doing these toe drags that people do. It's literally both feet come off the ground, jump and switch without your hips popping up. 10 more, one, two, Three, four, let's roll. Five, abs are tight. Six, seven, don't lose it. Eight, nine, bam. We're going to pole position. Back onto the ground. Similar to the bear crawl is a freaking gorilla run. It's around your waist. So your feet are wide, hands are on the inside, right here. Your hands are gonna propel you forward and then come back. So you're actually gonna go all the way across the floor and then just reverse bear crawl back. So you can't see me much on the screen. I'll try to go this way, maybe you can see me some more. So my hands are propelling me forward. See here? And my feet are wider than my hands. So I'm thrusting myself forward with the upper body. My spine is parallel to the floor. Getting caught up in my wire. There's a gorilla run. Back to our squat position. Back to another jump. Squat to press to jump. Putting it all together. This stupid wire trying to get out of my way. So we're here. Squat, press, jump. Keep your feet flat. Unless, or else that, uh, Band's gonna whip in your ass. Some of you might be into that kind of shit. Let's go, five more. One, two, three, four, five. We're basically running through all these circuits in one round. They really all should be a separate round, but I wanna show it to all of you the whole workout in a short amount of time. Keep losing the screen. All right, we have Deadlift position. We're going overhead tricep. So you go put one foot in. It's kind of a modified position. Step this foot all the way through. We're gonna, both hands, pick this all the way up overhead and now coming back for a tricep. Grab lower down if you need to, to get more tension. You get the right amount of tension, the right angle, and you'll feel it frying your tries. Pump it out. Got push up position coming out. Let's go five more. One, two, three, four, five. Pump that shit out. Push up position. His plank jacks. Wrap it around. Under your armpits. Push up position. Both feet are gonna jump 
Apart, together, apart, together. By C Street, apart, together. Now bang it out, pump it out. Abs are strong, light on your feet, bouncing your step. You don't need to do a freaking split here. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. You better not be stopping on one out there. When you have that cash, cashier hand your money back in the store, do you let them stop and have one dollar left in their hand? Fuck no. You wait till they give all that money back. Get every rep out of that set. I say 10 more, you don't stop when I'm saying one. So we're now inside our band, pole position. Feet are gonna go front to back. Front to back jack, our band assisted. Front to back jack, lateral shuffle because we're moving to the side. All the way across the floor, all the way back. Don't let that band go loose. Bounce in your step, light on your feet. Don't forget, these ones to the side. We need to do both directions. If you're not huffing and puffing and out of breath, you're not pushing hard enough. Because I'm freaking out of breath, but that's also because I don't shut the fuck up. Whew. Breathe it out, pump it out. One more time, come on. Front to back. So just my side, this is what my feet are doing. Front to back jack. We're just going to the side. One more time. Whew. Spin it around right away. Go to your freaking left. Around your waist. Get your freaking wires out of the way. All the way out, far you can, stretch that freaking band. Rip the door now off. Rip the door off the hinges. Fuck it. Summer's coming. Sun is here. It's gonna be 85 degrees before you know it. You're gonna be wishing you did this a little bit harder, a little bit longer, a little more serious, a little more disciplined. Do it now. Before it's too late, get that shit. Come on, now it's in your step. One more time now. Breathe. And we're out of the pole position. Back to our squat position. It's really not squat, it's our split squat position, single leg squat position. We're gonna go split squat jumps. So right leg forward, left leg back. You're right here. Back and bam, jump. We're just gonna go 10 per leg. Three, four, five, six, pump it out. Switch right away. Left leg. So both knees are 90 degrees. The spot they leave the ground from is the exact spot they hit in the floor. On. So it's not a lunge, it's a split squat. Get up. Pump it, pump it, pump it, let's go. Those are fun. Hell yeah. Do those for 30 seconds each side. See how that feels. Renegade press. So we're in the push up position. We're gonna hook this only on one foot. My right foot, grab the right hand, come back here. It's gonna make an X with the band. Get into the push up position with that wrapped around your foot, the X on the back of your arm, and we're pressing forward. Parallel to the floor. We'll go 15 each side, five more. One, two, three, four, five. If you could just stay down there and switch, do it, do it. If you could do it quickly, don't waste too much time on these switches. We need to get this shit moving. Right away, push up position. Those are fun right after those split squat jumps. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. And we're back. All right, into the uh, pole position. Wrap around your freaking waist. We're going to chest press. Get this stupid wire out of the way. A speed press. So you're gonna be here. These really should be outside your arms. Let's see if I can do it with this wire. All right, that'll work. Let's go. Let's go. Chest, bang. We're shoving it fast. This is high intensity. 
Part burning out here. Stag your stance. A little more if you need to. More tension if you need to. Ten more with even more tension and more speed. Come on. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. It's still pole position. You're still around the pole. Just come out. We're doing the same game with rows. This one, you square your feet up. So you're straight across from each other. Double arm overhand grip. And we're just going to rip this back. Hard as you can. Fast as you can. Let's go. You need more tension? Step further back. Ton of tension. Stretch that shit across the house. Fast. Boom. Boom. All the way until it hits your stomach. To your abs of steel. Your chest is out. Your shoulders are back. Breathe out every time you pull it back. I'm not doing it because I'm fucking yapping to you. Hold your ground. No wiggling with your body. No wobbling. Five more. One, two, three, four, five. That's the end of that final round there. We are just going to finish with two more. Two bonus sets. A reverse fly. A slow one. And then a pole position. Real fast one. So you're going to take this band. You can do single band. Right here. Overhand grip. A little closer than shoulder width. And you're going to do a reverse fly. Bring it all the way out here. Straight out your side, pinching your shoulder blades together. Squeeze. Control this one. If it's not enough tension for you, you want more of a challenge, just double up your band. Hold it here. Pinch it together. Keep tension on that band. Don't let it come together. You're resisting it. Four more. Come on. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. Last set. So again, each of these four positions was a circuit in itself. You could have done by itself, taking a break, or you could just do them all straight through like we're freaking doing here. So you're back into the pole position. Last set, we're just gonna get resisted run. So you're gonna be here in place, freaking wire, and you're just here against that resistance, pumping that shit out. Let's go. Another 100 steps. Two, four. Abs are tight, upper body's up. No idea where I'm at. Maybe 20. Faster. Those knees up, you're sprinting. Every bit of juice you got left. Blast through the fucking finish line. Charge towards the enemy. Freaking rip their head off. Come on. 30 more. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 20, two, four, six, eight. We're gonna get 10 more just for fun. Faster. Burn it. Keep that tension on the band. And time. And we are done. So that was one, two, three, four, seven and a half, eight rounds. So you could have done each one of those twice each for 30 seconds. Each one of those once each. How we just did it straight through everything. You could do just half of them in one workout once each. Half of them in the same workout twice each. You can do all the groups fucking 10 times if that's where your level you're at. Point is, there's a modification. There's a way to do all these. You can do just the first group one time if you never did anything in your life. And that's going to be better than just sitting on your fucking couch watching reruns of Beavis and Butthead. So there's always a way to do it. Every one of these exercises is a modification. Only piece of equipment we use was a little freaking rubber band. You could st- put this in your shirt. Take the knife out of your pocket, put this in your pocket instead when you're going through the airport and you won't get arrested like me. That's that bullshit. So that's all it takes. I put a link in there in the page here. Don't forget we have the 24 hour workout for autism coming up this Friday night. Starts at midnight, Friday night, all the way till midnight, Saturday night. 24 hours straight through. We're trying to raise $5,000 for autism. We're going to the local ARC school in New City, school for autistic children. Donate to it, even if you're not coming, you can still go to that link and donate right through the link. Just click on the register button and you can donate right through that link. If you have any questions on this workout, you can just post them in the comments, but click on that link, register to come to that workout. It is 24 hours straight through. You can show up at any time. There is no start and stop time to that workout. You can just freaking show up the second you come in. I have it designed, I have the program ready and designed that it is a steady flow, 24 hour workout, non-freaking stop. You can come for 
as short of a time as you want, as long as you want. There's gonna be food, music, after hours craziness. Once the sun goes down, anything goes at peak physique. So we're gonna have a crazy time, Friday night. So click on that link. Even if you're not coming, freaking don't be a cheap ass and go donate. We're trying to raise $5,000. We're already close to $1,000. We've only been talking about this for I think like two days. So there's no reason we can't get to $5,000 by Friday. That's a freaking week away. And we'll be taking donations all through the 24 hour workout also. So don't be a lazy ass, come out and work out for as long as you want. I'm gonna be doing 24 hours straight through, training, working out myself, helping people out. How many hours are you gonna come? How many hours are you gonna last? We, you can come and help out. We could bring some healthy home cooked food for the people that are coming to volunteer that are gonna be there for 24 straight hours. We're gonna be bringing tons of food and drinks. It's gonna be music and peak physique craziness. If you saw pictures of our last party, you kinda know how things go usually. Anyway, the workout's done. If you have any questions about the workout, let me know. Get a band if you don't have them. I can put a link even to where you can get them, a good set from for cheap. And I'll see you next time. If you have any questions, just the comments.